from CareCo TV, one of the longest running outdoor programs on television today. Exploring the country and the coast in search of adventures. From the mountains of the great Northwest to the shores of the Atlantic Ocean, this is Americana Outdoors, presented by Garmin. This week, we'll meet up with the winner of the Smith & Wesson Performance Center giveaway hunt, Jonathan Tapia. He flew from Santa Fe, New Mexico to Texas to collect a brand new Performance Center 460 XVR and experience the hunt of a lifetime. We also tag along with our special guests, Ted Gardner and Shanna Ramsey for springtime turkey hunting. But first, we're heading to West Texas with Americana Outdoors' Clark Wendlet and his brother, Scott. They're at the Gage Ranch chasing after mule deer. Hey, we've got a real treat for you. We're in Presidio and Brewster counties on the Gage Ranch, Trans-Pecos region of Texas, big mule deer country. And I've never hunted mule deer in my life. This country is real similar to what I've hunted in Mexico before. It's got low brush. We're gonna be doing a ton of glassing. I love covering ground, over 200,000 acres. The thing about the Gage Ranch is it's so gigantic. We're talking about 235,000 acres. Now that's pretty hard for me to even get my mind wrapped around. Some of the best mule deer country there is, two different counties, and the thing I can tell you is there's a ton of deer. It's just huge, number one. Number two, it has a great diversity of land. It has flats, it has mountains, it just has, it has everything, but it's all beautiful to me. And there were deer everywhere. There were deer on, in the mountain part, there were deer in the flats, there were deer everywhere. Just what a beautiful place that was. And a lot of what we did is actually drove in a truck. And the reason we did so is just to cover ground. We're trying to cover as much ground as we can. The time that we were there was pre-rut. The bucks are actually still in bachelor groups and, and we, you know, we saw lots of deer. That, I mean, that's the thing that was so incredible, probably close to 100 deer a day. The first day, we're going along, we got about 30, 45 minutes of light left and we see this buck kind of trotting, uh, probably three, 350 yards away. Pretty damn big. Oh, there's a bigger one to the yeah, big. He's got lots of stuff. He's got weird stuff everywhere. He doesn't have a G3 on the right. Yeah, but he's just got it, all kinds of weird stuff. Man, he doesn't look mature. Wow. That's a... That was a really cool deer. <laughs> I mean, usually mule deer are real uniform, but this deer didn't have any uniformity at all. He had some kind of thing coming off his left fork. I don't know if it was like a double fork where one point got bent off to the, to the left, and, and you could see him incredibly well. And I may kick myself for not shooting one like that. And I don't know if he was mature and he's running away from us. We don't have that much time left in the day, but he's pretty unique. You know, if you've never had an opportunity to see that desert terrain where you've got hills and mountains out in the west part of Texas, man, I encourage you to go see that. I mean, whether it's hunting or just going to the Big Bend, you know, this place that we hunted was 30 or 40 miles from Big Bend. And it's, I mean, you talk about pristine country, big, big country. I've always loved big ranches, and this was definitely one of them. God, we had a great time finding those deer because it, it's, it's always a thrill to find a deer glassing out in the middle of a vast area of brush. I, I never get tired of it. It's just a real thrill. You know, my thought on that whole hunt was it was probably one of the funnest hunts I've ever been on, especially not killing a deer. I mean, the fact that I got to see that many mule deer, judge that many, watch that many, find that many in binoculars, it was an experience that I'll remember for a long time. Coming up, we're back in Texas for some turkey hunts with Ted Gartner and Shanna Ramsey. Stay tuned. How do you aim a 36-yard shot? 
with a 30-yard fixed pin at a 15-degree angle with a 7-inch holdover without moving a single pin? Easy. You get one of these. Zero. The auto-ranging digital bow sight from Garmin. As people who love the outdoors, we know what we stand for. We stand for fish, wildlife, and conserving the places they call home. We stand for the traditions we inherited and that we must pass on. We stand for great gear, fair prices, expert service, and memorable experiences. At Bass Pro Shops in Cabela's, we stand together for you. Americana Outdoors, presented by Garmin, is brought to you by Garmin Zero. Leave the guesswork behind. Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's, your adventure starts here. Performance Center by Smith & Wesson. Performance when it matters most. And by Thompson Center, America's master gun maker. Welcome back to Americana Outdoors. We're back in Texas at the turkey camp with our special guest, Ted Gartner. Springtime in Texas, so that could only mean one thing. We're down at turkey camp. And uh, I was really looking forward to this hunt because uh, Garmin introduced the Zero, which is our laser ranging bow sight. And I had never shot a turkey with a bow before. And I certainly hadn't shot one with a, uh, with a Zero bow sight. So that was my goal. And I had come down here and I would practiced a lot uh, and was really intent on shooting a nice gobbler uh, with a Zero bow sight. We decided to get into the archery market because we saw it as a market that was, was kind of looking for technology. So we decided, you know what, let's do something uh, really crazy and, and, and come out with this Zero bow sight. And there's really nothing else like it. It's a uh, laser range finding bow sight. You can target anything by the push of a button, an invisible laser paints that target and it will give you your exact range and it will give you a virtual LED pin. So it shows you exactly where you need to shoot that object. Uh, it's really fantastic. It, it takes a lot of the guesswork uh, out of archery hunting. In the heat of the moment, it's nice to be able to just focus on your shot, make that shot and make sure you get a clean kill and that's what the Zero does. So Wade and I went out the first morning, it was nice and cool. Uh, he was playing camera guy as well as guide. Set up behind me, we kind of had this, this little uh, ground, ground blind that we put together and uh, kind of behind some brush and, and uh, really, really nice spot. We got out there at Odark 30. Uh, a lot of wildlife, I think, was, was kind of camped out there. So we kind of we moved them off, but Wade was certain that there were still uh, you know, a ton of birds uh, all around us kind of on this, on this creek bed. There were also some birds responding to us over on my left. Couldn't see those yet though, and, but I, I saw these jakes and I was kind of getting excited. My heart started pumping, but again, I was waiting for a gobbler. Well, sure enough, those birds on the left were a couple of gobblers. Uh, the jakes saw them and there was a scrum. I mean, there were birds jumping everywhere and, and uh, I started getting really excited. One kind of started moving off on his own. So I went to draw back and I got about this far back. I can't pull my bow back. I couldn't figure out what it was. And instead of pulling with, with my left hand, I'm a lefty, I pushed with my right and I popped it in and I popped my shoulder out. There was an audible pop that I heard uh, coming from my shoulder and that is not a, a pleasant sound and it certainly wasn't a pleasant feeling. So. Finally, the birds didn't exactly cooperate, so I let down, and, and I'm shaking, and there's tears streaming down my eyes, and I can't figure out what's going on. And the birds basically, you know, kind of went away, and, and I turned to Wade, and I said, man, I did something to my shoulder. And um, it hurt a lot, and, and we got back to camp, and, and it only hurt more. So um, we kind of thought about, well, you know, what can we do? Thankfully, Wade had some crossbows in camp, and, and I was familiar with crossbows. Um, and uh, was kind of excited about the opportunity. So it was definitely plan B, uh, but it was, it was gonna be a fun plan B. We get out there and we get set up. Beautiful morning, we got to see a lot of wildlife. We saw squirrels, we saw deer, we saw pigs, but no turkeys. 
And it's about nine o'clock in the morning and, and uh, I'm starting to get a little bit upset. And just thinking to myself, well, you know, maybe this is just not your trip. Uh, and we all have those. And all of a sudden, Kevin's eyes lit up. I didn't hear it right away that there were birds in the area. And I listened and it sounded like an old tractor starting up. They were drumming behind us. And so sure enough, they came around kind of in on our left. going away shot a little less than 30 yards and I figured you know what it's now or never I'm gonna take this shot I'm gonna take this bird got him man hot dang awesome big old Tom down Beautiful Rio Grande turkey. Nice beard, full beard. Good looking fan. Man, those are awesome birds. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Let's look at those spurs. Nothing wrong with those. Mature South Texas bird. Eight or nine inch full beard. And 10 point did its job. Those are awesome, awesome crossbows. Yeah, something from Wade. Looks like Wade shot a pig. Well, I get to inform Wade that I shot a turkey. Boom. That's so nice, even down in a hole like this, uh, where you can't get cell service, to be able to just talk to uh, you know the other guys, make sure you're all in the right spot, you're not walking over one another, and letting them know your success too is a pretty cool thing. Next, Shanna Ramsey returns to the camp for more turkey action after last year's success. The all-new Yamaha Wolverine X4 offers four times the proven off-road capability, four times the comfort, and four times the confidence to deliver four times the excitement on your next outdoor adventure. Introducing the Stealth NXT, the narrowest and most accurate 10-point crossbow ever. Measuring an ultra-narrow 6 inches wide, the Stealth NXT unleashes devastating speeds up to 410 feet per second, generating jaw-dropping kinetic energy and match-grade downrange accuracy, all on a whisper-quiet shot, three times quieter than the competition. The all-new Stealth NXT from 10-point. Americana Outdoors, presented by Garmin, has been brought to you by Yamaha's proven off-road ATV and side-by-side -side vehicles. Hi Viz, see what you've been missing. And by Conquest Sense, hunting and dog training sense. Welcome back to Americana Outdoors. Shanna Ramsey and her guide slash cameraman Jeff Reynolds are going back to the exact same spot where she killed her bird last year. 
last year's experience was really cool just to get everybody in the industry together, like the women in the industry together. Um, we had somebody from Thompson Center, we had uh, like four girls from Cabela's and then I came from Garmin. So just the camaraderie we had together and, just, and then just exchanging stories about the hunts. That's such a fun thing is once you get back to camp you get to relive it all and like at, listen to what their story was and tell them what yours was. So that's, that's really cool as well. Well, we get in there that morning, first morning, talking to Wade and Kevin, you know, they've been on a few hunts and it's been tough down here. The birds not responding very well. And so we didn't know what to expect. Soon as we get down there, birds started gobbling. So me and Shannon's pretty excited. I mean, we're thinking, uh oh, something's fixing to happen here. Well, we get set up and I kind of mess this up because I'm thinking these birds are gonna come down, they're gonna get on the road and they're gonna do just like they did last year, try to get behind us. Well, sure enough, when I get to calling to them, they're gobbling like crazy all down the creek. And I'm thinking, something's coming, sure enough. Sitting there, we hear them gobbling all around us, and he thinks they're coming from behind us, and I, I kind of feel like I see this red, or out of the corner of my left eye. I, I kind of look at him, and I'm like, do, I, do you want me to get my gun ready? And I look up, and she starts kind of pointing over this way, you know, and I'm thinking she's asking, should I turn and get set up this way in case they come that way? Nah, I know which way they're gonna come. They're gonna go get on the road and they're gonna come around us and you're gonna shoot them right over here. Uh -uh. And I'm like, well, we're gonna be in trouble because I know, I know I saw something. They start coming straight up to us. I don't see them. I don't know what, she starts to cock her gun and I'm trying to whisper to her, just wait, because it may be another 30 minutes before they get here. I look to my left and here they are, 20 yards from us. So, you know, the guy should have just been keeping his mouth shut and said, make her running the camera because she knew what was going on. Finally, I kind of like get it ready and they walk up to my left and I think they're going to head up this hill. There's about five toms, um, but then there's two or three that just stop. And I feel like, I felt like they were breathing down my neck because I knew they were right there. Yeah, I saw him coming. I was like, oh my gosh. <laughs> Literally, I think I could have kissed the turkey. It was so close. <laughs> I was trying to get the verb on. I'm sitting here, my hands just froze because that turkey's right there. And I finally cut it. Ah, yes, uh, that's what I'm talking about. Like, what is it? 715, done. My whole five feet walk. Really good beard. Yeah. Ah! God! Ah! Sit him down here and hold that fan up. Let's get some good looks of it. Ah. Beautiful birds. Beautiful. Well, congratulations. Thanks. You made, uh, pretty quick work of that. <laughs> Just roll into camp, get up the get next morning. Get it done. Kill one in the first <laughs> 30 than, minutes. Less than 24 hours in camp. Oh, I love it. You know, that girl, she's kind of just one of them stone cold killers. I mean, just plain and simple. When you take her hunting and, and you tell her, hey, this is, this is what we're hunting, she's fixing to get it done. She can definitely do it. Well, coming up, meet the winner of the Smith & Wesson Performance Center giveaway, who takes home a Performance Center 460 XVR and gets to go hunting with us. Protect it or lose it. 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 Ingalls got the original high performance cooler and a whole lot more.
single coolers. Go with the original. At Sawyer, we use the best technology to make simple products that keep you going regardless of your journey. So whether you're boating, hiking, fishing, camping, or hunting, we keep you outdoors with a full lineup of products to both protect you and make the outdoors more enjoyable. Sawyer, we keep you outdoors. Many said that we were just obsessed when we started, that there had to be an easier way to smoke food. As time passed, the Bradley family created a lineup of Bradley electric smokers that has made it easier for the novice or even expert chef to get perfect results every time they use it. Grab yourself a Bradley smoker and take your cooking to an all new level. When I was in special ops, every item had a purpose or it got left behind. It's no different today. If it doesn't protect me or help me perform at the highest level, I've got no use for it. Otherwise, I don't come back with whatever it is I set out to get. Wiley X, ballistic rated eyewear. We plan all year for this. We hone our skills. We have confidence in the gear we choose. We pour over thousands of images and videos. When the time comes, will you be ready? Introducing the all new 4K camera by Stealth Cam. Proven. Americana Outdoors, presented by Garmin, has been brought to you by 10 Point Crossbow Technologies. Perfection lives here. Walker's Game Ear, protect it or lose it. And by Purina Quick Draw Mineral Blocks, a difference you can see. Welcome back to Americana Outdoors. We'll meet up with the winner of the Smith & Wesson Performance Center giveaway, Jonathan Tapia. I was the big winner on Facebook with uh, Performance Center, uh, Smith & Wesson, and uh, of course, Whitetail Diaries. And I, you know, wasn't quite sure I was gonna win something like this ever, but I figured it's definitely worth putting my name in the hat. So I, uh, you know, submitted my information and got the notification that I did win. So I had a chance to uh, take home the uh, Performance Center 460 uh, XVR and come out here for the weekend and in search of some white-tailed deer, so it's feeling pretty lucky right now. Oh, it's in the bullseye. Yep. Owie, he's dead! <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna look for a three to four-year-old deer at a minimum. You know, we want, them, we want them to be mature, we want one that you're gonna be happy with as well, and so, you know, that's, that's the main thing out there. And, and patience is a virtue. I mean, we don't have to be in a hurry. This is just like what you did right here. He's gonna give us our shot. As much wind as we've got and as much cover, you can move up here a lot. You know, as long as they're not staring at us, you're okay. Okay. Yeah. You know, the first hunt, that all dad came right across the field and, you know, the story changed pretty quickly after that. Take it when you can. Awesome. Thank you, sir. <laughs> <laughs> yeah.
I mean, that was cool. So you, you get on Facebook, you win a white tail, yeah. right? you get a brand new 460 yeah. for the performance center, and you killed an Odd <laughs> <laughs> What do you think about that? Uh, beautiful. <laughs> when I saw him coming out across there, I thought, my gosh, that's too spectacular to ever think about saying no. And I know we're supposed to be out here shooting a big white tail, but that just that doesn't get any better yes, right sir. there. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, what an opportunity. Better. Performance center, that's what you need to be thinking. Yes, sir. That yeah, will happen. He didn't miss many meals. Be the first odd ad ever in the back with Yamaha Wolverine <laughs> X4. Way to mention that you know I, I had gotten the the white tail deer tag, so uh, he said you know why don't we why don't we get you out there and, and let you take a nice management buck. So uh, come the afternoon hunt, you know we made our way there. We were there for a matter of minutes. I mean it couldn't have been more than 20 or 30 minutes before uh, the buck came out um, that I knew was the one. You know, I couldn't be more happy for Jonathan. He did a great job. The gun performed well. He had an opportunity to take two animals down here. I think he's ecstatic. Uh, I can tell you if we run another contest, he'll be entering. It was a lot of fun for him and he had a good time. I didn't really know what to expect, um, but coming out here, it's, it's just like the television show. I mean, you're seeing animal uh, consistently, uh, relatively soon once you get out to the stands. You know, everybody here has been great. It, it's been really a trip of a lifetime for me. You could be the next winner. Don't forget to check out the Performance Center Giveaway Program on their Facebook page and the great Americana Outdoors Giveaway on our website at AmericanaOutdoors.com. Hey, thank you for watching and join us next week on the new episode of Americana Outdoors. Americana Outdoors is a Careco TV production. Purina's Quick Drop is the perfect solution for attracting deer to your location and providing them with the essential nutrients that will encourage their growth. Use these blocks where you can and I promise you, not only are you going to see more game, but the game's going to benefit from you placing it out. What does it take to make Evercom deer scent? It takes a deer farmer who raises whitetails. It takes mixing the special blend of Evercom testing each batch. That smells good. And then pouring each container. Once it's cooled, each container is cleaned, examined, and packaged for shipping. It takes the finest deer herd and a great team of people to make the best hunting scent available. Evercom from Conquest Scents. High Viz Shooting Systems knows that your shooting performance matters in all conditions. All high-vis shooters experience faster target acquisition with our durable LightWave sights. Featuring easily interchangeable light pipes, LightWave sights give your eyes the exact sight picture you crave. Shoot high-vis. See what you've been missing. Neither Purinas or Mummies are newcomers in the world of wildlife management. In fact, both our brands have decades of experience tackling the tough questions when it comes to animal nutrition and game management programs. Let our brands help you create healthier animals and help improve your game management practices. Reach out to the team at Mummies at one of their store locations or give us a call and ask how we can help you reach your game management dreams. Tired of forgetting to set a recording or missing the latest episode of your favorite outdoor show? Check out Outdoor Action Today. Never miss a second of shows like Americana Outdoors, Cabela's Fisherman's Handbook, and Whitetail Diaries. All of this at the press of a button without a subscription fee required. Start watching your favorite shows when you want to watch them by going to OutdoorAction.com or through the Outdoor Action channel on any Roku device. Ready to win a trip of a lifetime? 
The Great Americana Outdoors giveaway is here. Go to AmericanaOutdoors.com and enter now for your chance to win an all-expenses-paid trip with our professional staff. Pick the trip you like and enjoy your bucket list trip on us. And to top off your adventure, the Americana Outdoors camera crew will film all the action and you'll be the star on national TV. Don't miss your chance of a lifetime. Go to AmericanaOutdoors.com and enter now.